Good afternoon, everybody. It's actually Tuesday, June 2nd. And I told everybody there was going to be two videos this week. And this is the second of the two. And what's going on for this second video is we have a really severe case of a Windows update gone bad. Now, for those that have been long-time followers of the channel, you've heard me talk about Windows updates gone bad, and normally what happens when they do go bad. What happens when they do go bad normally with Windows 8 or Windows 10, this being a Windows 10 machine, is normally Windows just doesn't start up correctly. In this particular case, though, we have a more, actually a more severe issue, and this is why I say that. It's actually easier to fix a Windows update gone bad when Windows does not start up correctly rather than when it runs. As you can see here, we're looking at the desktop of this gray machine rather than when it runs but parts of Windows don't work correctly and I'll briefly demonstrate what I mean here just grab the mouse arrow which is a little tricky because I'm holding the camera too but we'll get there Hang on. There you are, Mr. Arrow. One of the things that's going on here is the Windows search doesn't work. Now, I've got the arrow highlighted on search, and for you Windows 10 experts out there, search should have some extra options next to it. In other words, it should have the little arrow pointing to the right like shutdown or sign out does, but it doesn't. The other things that happen here are if you download a file and then try to run it, it doesn't, it takes, for, it actually locks up the browser and then if you try to run it from Windows Explorer, it will run, but it takes forever to actually bring up the user account control box. Now, long story short, I have spent a, a quite a while trying to chase down this problem, and I found out that the component store was corrupted. However, I can't fix the component store, not even with DISM, because it's having issues finding sources. I can't even use a Windows ISO to correct the problem. What I am going to do is I'm going to use the other backup solution that I have here, which is called a Cronus Backup, to correct the problem. Uh, the biggest issue with using a Cronus for something like this is it's like taking a sledgehammer when you really need a scalpel. And if it wasn't for the time issue and the labor issues involved, I wouldn't do this. But at this point, I don't have any choice. So I'm going to use a Cronus to restore the C volume to a point which is a couple months older than this and then we'll come back and I'll do another finish up video which for you guys I'll see you in a second and then we'll go from there. Well, a second has passed, I'm back. I'm actually restoring the it, the previous image, which is actually from March 7th, on to the new hard drive that the customer requested I purchase for this purpose to preserve 
the image of Windows that is 99% functional in case something else happens to go wrong with one of these drives down the road. And as you can see from the screen, the restoration is in process. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be at least three hours to complete, which is for a couple reasons. One, this is one of my older custom builds that does not have solid state drives in it. And two, this customer, this particular customer, he has a lot of stuff, to put it mildly. Um... He's retired now, but he was involved in a couple of different pursuits back in the day. And a lot of that data that's on this machine is from when he was working. So it's going to take quite a while to get this thing to the point where Windows is going to boot again. And when that happens, I'll come back again and we'll go over final finish up of the state of this machine uh, I'm the reason that I'm making this particular video today is I want to demonstrate a couple of my points that I've been preaching and preaching and preaching and I want to talk about the actual use of putting them into practice uh, point one is always always have a backup or disaster recovery or business continuity plan that involves multiple options. You want a, a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, because if one thing doesn't work, you want to have another option to get out of it. And this is the way that I set things up as an IT contractor. What I tend to do is I say to myself, okay, if things go severely bad, how am I going to get out of it? That's the question I always ask myself when I'm setting up one of these plans. And like I said, you're going to want multiple options because you don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And to be honest, I'll be honest with everybody, yes, it takes, it's a little expensive to get one of these plans set up, especially, especially the more data we have and the more things we have to deal with and the more options we use. But trust me, it's worth it. Um, again, longtime followers of the channel will remember me talking about Drive Savers, the data recovery company that I use. And to be honest, you don't want to have to call those guys. It's calling them is like calling 911 because at the end of the day, yes, you'll most likely get your data back, but you're also going to have a $3,000 plus bill in a lot of cases that accompanies that data. So I try to avoid having to bring them in whenever possible. The other thing that I'm preaching again is again keep control of your data. This customer is going to get his old 4 terabyte drive back and another reason, another reason you want to keep control of these drives is these drives can be reused later for different circumstances. Um, we've been talking about putting this large 4 terabyte Western Digital Black into a hard drive enclosure so we can then use it outside of the computer and use it for external storage. I will see everyone in just another second when Windows is once again functioning. Well, for you guys, it was just a second, 
but it's actually now just after 8.30 on Tuesday night. The restoration with Acronis has completed and it did correct all the issues that we were having with the machine which I will demonstrate now. If you remember Windows search didn't work. When you clicked on search nothing would happen but you click on it now and the search box comes up. Also you can now download things in Firefox and executables run at normal speed. So this is a major lesson. Uh, sometimes not even DISM or System File Checker or any of the other advanced Windows tools that we have available will fix a Windows update gone bad and you'll wind up having to restore the entire machine from backup. Uh, this have, I've done a little bit of tweaking here. This now has to go back to the owner and get some more tweaks done which will happen in the coming days. As always everybody feel free to rate, comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see everybody next time. See you all soon. Bye-bye.